In the following video demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to use the copy and paste function in the eManage Bill of Materials estimating module. Inside of the Bill of Materials, I'm showing two options. I have Zodi chairs and budget 6x6 workstations. The customer wanted a quote for the Zodi chairs separately from the 6x6 workstation, so I created two options. Well, inside of this option, of the chairs, I have 10 chairs, Zodi chairs, and the customer is now asking me for a quote for 15 chairs. So rather than creating a whole new option and pricing it out, I'm actually going to edit this name and I'm going to say QDY 10. And I'm going to select this option, right click, copy, and then down in the white space here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. What it does is it pastes an exact copy, including the phases and the BOM of that option. And now what I could do is I will go ahead and change this to 25. And down in my parts here, I'm going to change it for 20, to 25. And so now I just very quickly made two separate options. Now, on the, if the customer also wants another quote, and in this budget workstations, they want to include the Zodi chairs inside of there. If I expand this, I have a phase or a tag called workstations. Well, now what I want to do is they want the, the cost for the 10 chairs. So I'm going to go up here and expand that. And those chairs, I'm going to grab the phase or the tag. And I'm going to right click, copy. And then I'm going to go down here to the 6x6 budget workstations, and I'm going to paste. And so now I have two tags, so two phases. So I have workstations and the Zodi chat, task chair. And so I was it, very easily I was able to take and combine these quotes together. Now, I can do a lot more uh, with the copy and paste. So if I wanted to, if this was a Zodi chair that had completely different options down here and I actually wanted to put this chair into uh, this quote up here, these 25, I can actually take this part as well and I can copy this part and I can go into here and I can then select, actually you have to select on the BOM down here and I can paste. So now I have the other chairs with the other options and colors in there. So not only can I copy options and copy phases and even copy bill of materials, BOMs, I can copy parts from one BOM to another BOM. As well, I can go to a completely new project or a completely different project. And as an example, I can go in here and I can grab this whole option here. And this is actually a pretty large option. So it's list over a million dollars and there's a lot of different, you know, phase names and tag names in here. And one of the things is on this one, we want to do, maybe we want to copy this whole option and just do some budgetary figures, maybe, doing some scenarios with different margins and so on. But in this case, this project, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this option. And I'm going to go to this other project here and I'm going to paste it inside of this option. And one of the things that they wanted to do is on this project, um, I want to reuse some of the parts and I can go ahead and do that. But with this option, they actually wanted to do maybe a different scenario with some different um, items and different colors. So if I open this, it shows all the different tags in here. And inside of these areas, I can go and if I click on this uh, tag here, it will show me the part. And these are some uh, finishes. Let me see if I can find a table. Okay, so this table, what I could do is maybe this option they want to do different uh, colors, so I can copy it over 
and I can open this project up and I can re-option this. And maybe instead of uh, no fabric modesty, they actually do want a fabric modesty. Oh, this actually doesn't come with a fabric modesty. So I can change these options, accept it, and bring it back in here. So not only uh, can you copy and paste an option, a phase, the parts, and so on within what you know the project they're working on, but you can copy the the phase, the option, the bill of materials, and all the parts from one project to a completely different project. Um, and let me just show you that again. If I want to take these Zodi chairs, and I will copy this, and I'll go to this project, and if I paste. And now my Zodi chairs are in here, and then I can change the quantities um, and so on for these parts right here. So um, as well, if you have pictures on your, um, your phases, as an example, I have some pictures in here. If I scroll across, you can see that there's pictures in here. If I actually enlarge this. I think you'll be able to see the pictures. Well, you can see the little thumbnail there. So when you print the quote, you can see the picture. But when you copy and paste, it retains everything that's in there. The item name, the description, all the parts and pieces, the pictures, and so on. So you don't have to re-enter all the information in. It's really nice uh, when you're when you're having to do, maybe you want to do two options and see where pricing's at. You can definitely copy and do an option uh, and manipulate the pricing and so on. So anyways, the copy and paste function is very powerful, very easy to use. It's just the right click and a copy and another right click and a paste. Thank you for watching the video.